Hey guys, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews. Today we've got a sort of a versus video, sort of a Mythbuster type video. Basically, I'm gonna try to settle it right now, you guys. Does it make that big of a difference to use the artillery hold shooting your brake barrels? I've got two gammo guns out today. I've got my targets out at 25 yards. We're gonna shoot a 10 shot group with each of these guns. One, using the artillery hold, one, just resting it on the bags, just shooting off the bags. And we're gonna see, does it make that big of a difference? I've never done this before, guys. I've always just sort of shot using the artillery hold, thinking it was the best. But I've seen some other shooters using different holds, and I kinda wanted to know, you know, maybe for me at least, what's gonna give me the best results when I'm trying to show off a gun's accuracy? Artillery hold or shooting it off the bags? I've just got it set in this lead sled for looks, guys. I'm not gonna shoot it out of that. So we're gonna shoot it off of these bags or I'm gonna shoot it kind of resting on the bags but using the artillery hold, 25 yards. Let's see what is the best, guys. Artillery hold or just resting it. Let's find out, here we go. All right, guys, so I'm all set up. I've got my good old trusty Gamo S'more Magnum right here, got some Air Arms 18 grains that I'm gonna use in that one. And I've got the Gamo Swarm Fusion Gen 2. This is the 10X Gen 2 with the mag that lays flat so you can keep your open sights, pretty stinking awesome. So I've got that right here. And this doesn't shoot quite as hard as the Magnum, so I'm using the 16 grain Air Arms pellets in this one right here. Got this one with a Hawk scope, that one's just right with the regular gamo scope and it's always worked great for me. So anyways, here we go. We're gonna just shoot this one first. First, I'm gonna shoot both of them, just rest it off the bags. Then we'll switch and we'll shoot both of them using the artillery hold, see if it makes a difference. Let's get it done. All right, let's switch out for the Magnum. Now I'm reloaded and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the artillery hold and we'll shoot 10 shots and see how they both do using artillery. All right, that seems to do actually pretty good. I think it, from here, looks like it did better using the artillery hole. All right, wow. Okay, so guys, so from here through the scope, I think they both did a lot better using the artillery hold than trying to rest them on bags, which 
to some of you like rimfire shooters, PCP shooters, that gosh, that might seem like backwards logic. Uh, Cause how's it gonna be more steady if I'm holding it versus if I've got it like locked down really nice and steady on some bags. But I think with two guns, we just really proved it right here over again that the artillery, I think with these two guns, we just really proved it once again artillery hold is the way to go with break barrels guys so let's go ahead let's run down there let's grab those those papers those targets check them out a little bit closer and uh, we'll see what the verdict is all right guys so check it out this is a pretty impressive testament for the use of the artillery hold now these two top groups were the groups i shot just resting them on the bags this was the swarm fusion 10x gen 2 this was the magnum swarm now, Magnum Swarm, you can see most of the shots, they fell there, but we had these couple of flyers like that there. Now, down here, we've got Magnum Swarm using artillery hold. You can see no flyers, guys. And I'm just using the bundled optic, guys, at four power here at 30 yards. Get a group like that, pretty awesome, right? So over here with the uh, Swarm Fusion, 10x gen 2 this one hey, you know it didn't do as good as the magnum did but you know that's sort of been my experience the fusion gen 2 just isn't as accurate as the magnum i mean it's a good gun i've probably had some other pellets perform better than maybe these air arms pellets did um so this isn't totally like a judge of the gun's accuracy but i think you guys can see that from like here to here that's a big difference in a group size which to me just once again really shows, man, that using that the artillery hold is the way to go with these. Um, I only had like three shots fall outside the eight ring on that 10 shot group. And with this one, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shots outside the eight ring. So I, I guys, I think that right there really settles it for me, both guns more accurate using the artillery hold. That's kind of cool. I'm definitely gonna be continuing to use the artillery hold in all of my future break barrel shooting that I do. Um, but man, I think for you guys out there, if you haven't been using the artillery hold to shoot your break barrels, gosh, now's the time to start, right? You just saw it right there, more accuracy. So that's it for today, guys. Just wanted to make this quick little video. Thought it might help some people out there just be able to get more accuracy out of their air guns, specifically their break barrels. So that's it. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Thanks for tuning in to Shooting Gear Reviews, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.